welcome once again to Insane Ian Taste Test Weird Things because he has nothing better to do with his time and so he decided to do this. That's really long. That's not the title. Anyway, um, so this week, uh, as promised, I have some fruity sodas to try. Sprecher, which, uh, which does uh, some root beers, uh, has decided to do Sprecher Diamond, which is these clear sodas. And they're selling them in four packs. And suddenly there's a cat behind me. And they're... Things like lemongrass, and blackberry, and Asian pear, and uh, but those are all in four packs, and I don't really want four of those sodas, because if I'm going to try them, I'm just going to try them, I'm not going to like be like having all of them. But they did sell one individual one, and that was the, the lychee, or lychee, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, I'm probably mispronouncing it, but it is lychee. I don't know what that is. I'm, I've never heard of it before. I've never had it before. It's like black currant. It's going to be a new experience because it's a word I don't know. But it says it's a craft soda. So it's like, oh, craft beer, and now craft soda. Obviously, with a clear bottle, you can see what it looks like. So no need to pour. We're just going to get right into this. And on all of these require a bottle opener. So here's the, the lychee. It smells citrusy already. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Let's see, uh, made with real sugar at least. Ingredients, carbonated water, sugar, shoot sucrose, natural flavors, raw Wisconsin honey, citric acid, and ginseng. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, oh that's, ugh. I'm not a fan of that. It's tart. It tastes like it starts out like a cream soda flavor, and then and then the tartness hits you. It is a I, I don't know how to describe that. It's kind of citrusy, kind of tart, a little sour. Ugh. That's not super pleasant on a first taste. Yeah. No, 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 not enjoying that. We're off to a great start now. Uh, moving on to Filberts. Filbert's Old Time Quality. Filbert Root Beer Company, right here in Chicago, uh, has made a couple of fruity soda flavors. There's been a bunch. I picked three because I don't want to die immediately. And uh, so we have blueberry soda, we have pineapple soda, and we have, oh man, banana soda. Yikes. Yeah, we're gonna start with the blueberry because that's the order they were sitting in on my table. Oh my gosh. Bottle opener doesn't wanna. There goes the cap. Blueberry soda. That's gonna be a flavor. I'm getting not much of a blueberry smell. I'm getting a very chemical smell. Obviously. Nothing really bizarre in the ingredients other than blue number one and red number 40, and sodium benzoate as a preservative. All right, we're gonna try this stuff. That's not bad. That's kind of nice, actually. A little bit of a, a fruity taste. It's definitely a very blueberry taste. Kind of like an artificial blueberry taste like you would find in pre-packaged blueberry muffins or blueberry pancakes or something like that. So it's not like it's like, well that's a blueberry that was sitting in a soda. No, it's it's kind of an artificial flavor, but it's not it's not terrible. It's kind of pleasant actually. Alright, we enjoy this one. Not you, Sprickers. Ugh. It's reminiscent of a grape soda in that it's kinda of the the fruity taste, but it's not overpowering or anything like that. So that's a decent one. Now we're moving on to the pineapple. <sighs> I imagine that this is going to be very tart as well. I mean, uh, pineapples aren't particularly a tart fruit, but I, I have a feeling that the soda is going to be. Citrus oils, ester gum, artificial flavor and colors. Yellow number five. Bromated vegetable oil. Cool, let's try this. Bottle opener, pineapple. Oh my god. Holy sh... Yeah. That is... We've taken a pineapple, and we've wrung it out into a glass. And then we've added carbonation for some reason. 
That's what that smells like. Hi. I can't imagine somebody smelling this and going, Ooh, I want to drink that. Does that have sugar and carbonation in it? Give me more of that. Man. Well, uh, Filberts, you are just good on you for trying new things. Good on me for trying new things. Expanding my palate, possibly dying on camera. Here we go. Yeah, that's a pineapple soda. That tastes like, wow, that tastes like biting into a pineapple chunk, getting all the juice of that, and then injecting your face with carbonation. I don't know how I feel about that. That's really bizarre. It's very much a pineapple soda. I was worried about the banana before, and now I'm very intrigued. I'm, I don't know how to cope with this. Pineapple soda. Sure, okay, like, pineapples are, are refreshing, I guess. This is not, this is not terrible. I don't know if I want to drink an entire thing of it, but as a taste test flavor, sure. It's not bad. It tastes like what it's supposed to be. And, and the soda flavor is not overpowering either. It's not a, it's not a particularly <laughs> cola flavor. I don't know if that's a descriptor or not, but we're using it. So yeah, that's, that's definitely, that's a thing, man. All right. Yeah, that's pineapple. There's like, if, if it was a blind taste test, if I had these set out in front of me, I'd be like, is that a pineapple soda? Yeah, that's absolutely a pineapple soda. Finally, banana soda, ha. Now I have to note that these don't all say banana soda, pineapple soda, they just say banana, pineapple. The blueberry one is the only one that says blueberry soda. So it's just banana carbonated drink doesn't say soda, but whatever. See the ingredients, yellow number five, sodium benzate, natural and artificial flavors. They both had, no, yeah, they both had yellow number five in it, but this one is decidedly darker. This one is more of a pineapple color. And this one is, this one looks like apple juice, honestly. Banana looks like apple juice. We'll see. Oh, Jesus. I need a better bottle opener. I'm getting no smell whatsoever. Not a scent off of this. Nothing. Away from the bottle and, and with the bottle near my nose, I'm getting the same smell of nothing. I don't know what that means. Here we go. That's interesting. At first, it doesn't taste like anything except a carbonated beverage. And then the banana flavor hits you afterwards. It's an aftertaste of banana. And it's a really, it's not a strong banana flavor so much as a particular banana flavor. Well, you know the way your lips feel after you've taken a bite of a banana? That's what this is. That's what this does to your lips. It's just all right. Well, that is the four fruity flavors that we've had this week. Hope you enjoy the videos. If you like it, please click that to subscribe. Please share the videos with your friends, leave comments about what you'd like me to try, and also you can check out the playlist of the other videos right here. Thank you. I've actually worked on an ending now. That was it. They were all twist off. <laughs>